Do you have those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor, but that didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this, this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. That's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Thought you had be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! So, the ad said that just after the mile marker there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? And you can't carry the sledding gear on your own, even if you think you can. Noodle, huh? <laughs> I can see that. I said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who'd listen to you too. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, having some help out there might be nice. Are you ready for the retired life? Or are you just waiting for someone to believe in you again? Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? Enjoy your nap. We need four more dogs to get started with our training team. We have seven stops left. I'm sure we'll find the pups for us. Looks like the next kennel is just up ahead. Let's see who's there, Chopper. Uh, did you move your house here? I don't have any snacks, Bodega. Why didn't I bring snacks? They said he's been eating them out of house and home. Well... Take care, Bodega. You're right, Chomper. You can't do this on your own. Oh, hey! Our next stop is here. I'll go see who they have for us. Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Quite the, uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes that led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well... I'm looking to become a champion. I know I've got to get started and learn the ways of Alaska first, but I've got long-term goals to think about. I don't know if I want to lose sight of them. I suppose we're not just out here to race. I mean, we're not even racing yet. We've got to figure out how we plan to live out here, how we plan to support ourselves. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> okay, Finn.
it seems like you got a good thing going here. You can curate your collection, and you still get plenty of long walks to sniff out new treasures. Enjoy it, Finn. It's great meeting you. Sometimes you just have to be patient. We'll find you a good buddy, Chopper. Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? They said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher's side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home. We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure. And I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good. For both of us. All right. What do you think? I'm not really sure why they call you Barkley. You haven't made a single sound since I met you. <laughs> Should we give you a new name? Something that reflects your quiet nature? Hey, slippers it is. What do you think? Okay, so uh, not quiet, just one to pick your moments. I will make sure to listen. So let's keep Barkley then. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. We've almost arrived to the trail, so we're gonna need to adopt three of the next four pups we meet. God, your eyes are blue. They're brighter than the sky, Stilton. And you don't seem to miss a thing. You're keeping a constant watch. I bet you know everything that goes on, huh, old boy? You're supposed to be retired, but it sounds like you've been keeping tabs on the pups and leading their training runs. I know some pups that would love to have you around. So, meet the team. I think we're a pretty great bunch. You should have fun here. You've got like a cold fire in those eyes. People shouldn't give up on you so quickly. But I guess some people get obsessed with crushing the competition and they don't see the value of a well-rounded team. We can't all be speedsters or beasts. Sometimes you need a pup who can let you know when you're steering the team into trouble. Or a moose. I hear moose are more threatening than bears, is that true? I'm gonna take that growl as a yes. We're out here to become a real dog musher and, you know, hopefully one day win a race or two. How's that sound? Nothing's gonna stop us. It's just us and the world. We own our fate here. We're glad to have you, Stilton. I don't know what the ride is gonna be like, but we're definitely gonna have an adventure. This team's really coming together. Okay, we have three more stops until we reach the trail and two pups to adopt. Looks like we're nearly at the next stop. You look like a force to be reckoned with. Gale, is it? I don't think you'll be needing much motivation. You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. I'll probably have to make sure you take some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. Well, you really want that window open. Do you always need the wind in your fur? Yeah, it can be hard to be cooped up. Did you know you're about to venture into the vast expanse of the Alaskan wilderness? Yeah, who knows what's out there. Snow, for sure. And plenty of running. But I'm sure we'll be surprised by what we find. That's what adventure's all about. Do you think you're ready for that, girl? We've got a pretty good team assembled so far. Some speed, some strength, some smarts. I think we just might be alright. <laughs> I can't wait to just let you loose and pull us along. It's easy to tell that's your true calling. Get you in your element, never let that wind leave your fur. Oh, we're getting 
getting so close to a complete team. Okay, we've got a few more stops left, and we only need one more pup. I know we'll find the right one. Igloo! Where are you, girl? You know you have a house right there. You don't have to be in the snow. Right. Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? Oh, are you just a big old snowball? Big, fluffy, loud. So, your owner said you're ready for an adventure. You love being out in the wild. But they've grown too old for the risks of what's out there. Well, I think we can make this happen. We've got a new life to start. But if things go off plan, we might need your help. I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margo said to travel to the end of the road, and then hop on the sled, and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's, uh, not as helpful as I'd like. But it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So, you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but... I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Barkley, Gale, Stilton, Iggy. And the sled is all ready to go. We've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail. But I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm really looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets. Just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. Oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Okay, well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Uh, mush on! Now up here, we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and g for right. So, let's go.
See that? It's a caribou. Just stay there. Thank you, Caribou. We appreciate you. Now for the part I like less. I'll meet you back at the sled pups. Well, that worked up an appetite. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my hunger when I venture off. Another meal ready to go. Two bullets left, team. Let's go, Chopper. A squirrel up there? Why is it running so? Oh, it's a weasel. Where did it go? I can only see a tree. Ah, there you are. You're not very good at hiding. My pups haven't learned to climb yet, so you're safe up there. Thanks for waiting, pups. Let's get back out there. Hmm. Let's go. Got a chance at a meal, pups. Stay quiet, just be calm. You've got this. Well, that's just great. Thanks for waiting, pups. We're on to our last bullet. At least we've already got some food. I think we're done here. Let's go. Let's take a break. I read that owls are good omens. Or uh, wait. I remember. Silent in flight, they only bring fright. Who they call out to find victims till light. Um. I see you. You. Still you. I don't believe in black cats crossing my path. Why would I believe in your bad omen? You know, you're just a fancy chicken, right? Or maybe like a sky penguin sailing silently through the night air. You, man! Stop responding like you understand me! It's creepy! You know what? Well, that's disgusting.
Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. Ready to go? Let's rest. We, uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Fire would be nice. Okay, just a little birch bark, a little spark, and behold, fire. I'm ready to cook some food. Food time. Chow down, pups. Get back on the trail. Ready to go? Gail, slow down. There's something up there. I think we should... Wow. Okay, Gail. Uh, I'm not even sure we should be messing with porcupines. Huh? See? They have a worse business end than skunks. I don't want to mess with that. Oh, Gail. I tried to warn you. Hold still. I got you. You can't just rush into things. Especially things covered in spikes. <laughs> Hey, pups. Let's get back out there. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. I wish I could provide better warnings about porcupines. They actually have a pointy end. I wish you didn't have to learn by doing. I know it's bothering you, but let's mush on. Let's go. Ha! Oh, thank God, a birch grouping. I need you to start. Fires! <sighs> that was more work than it should have been. Let's get back to it. Okay, I'm back. We can start a fire at camp now. Let's be safe out there. You know, we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, we're still alive, and we're getting closer to our new home. You know, just have to make it past some more trees, and snow, probably some more snow, and then we'll be there. 
You pups look like an incredible team. You even move as one. I am very impressed with your sled dog instincts. You pulled us faster than I ever could have imagined. We might already be out of food, but I I'm sure we'll be fine. And it's been really nice not seeing any other people. It's just us in the world. I didn't expect to talk out loud this much, but we're really doing this. We're, I, I mean, I, I'm becoming a musher, like a real one. I think Margot would be proud. I still can't believe she gave us her old cabin and, and gear. We're making progress. We should be there soon enough. Oh, now what? Shoot now! Nikki! I said stay back! I hit it? I, I don't know how, but I did! Oh god! You okay, girl? Oh, you're a little hurt, girl. But we can fix that up. Just ride in the sled for a bit. The team will be okay. It's okay. Get in the sled. You don't need to run right now. Some more food. Let's just hope we don't run into anything that wants to eat us. I think we're done here. Let's go. Things were going to plan. I really did, but now I'm not so sure. I didn't even know that muskox were out here, and, and they don't care about what happens to us at all. This might be too much for us. But how do you know when something is actually for you? Our instincts have gotten us this far. Look at what we've already done. What is that? I don't want to find out who this belonged to, but we'll take what we can find. The bullet will do just fine. Okay, I'm back. We've got one bullet left. At least we've already got some food. I think we're done here. Let's go. I don't know how we do this without you, Igor. You put the team before yourself every time. I'm gonna try to be as good as you. There are so many tree stumps over there. I'd feel a lot more comfortable if it didn't just feel like people disappeared here. Well, there's an axe here. I am just going to, uh, take this. It opens locks, strips bark, hits things. The first and best multi-tool. I really should have packed an axe instead of waiting to get one at the cabin. It's far more useful with me than not. Oh well, I've got one now. Well, should I try this out? Seems to be plenty of birch here. That's so much easier than ripping this off by hand. Looks like we're done here. Hey, pups. We can start a fire at camp now. Let's be safe out there.
Should we camp? Take a break, pups. Fire would be nice. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. Hey, buddy. How are you holding up? There you go, Igloo. Ready for pets, Barkley? Okay, how's your nose, girl? Yeah, I know. It's painful. But you can't just rush in like that. Come here, buddy. I can't believe you were willing to risk yourself for the team, bud. You're a good leader, Igloo. And Chopper seems to adore you. <laughs> I think you like him, too. Ready for the long sleep. You keeping a lookout for all of us? Yeah, I don't want to distract you too much, but maybe some of these and a bit of a scratch here. I shouldn't have brought you out here, but we just have to keep going. No matter if mistakes are made. I'm ready to cook some food. Food time! Chow down, pups! Might be time to get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be growing. Well, should we go to sleep? All right, everyone feeling better? Get back on the trail. Let's be safe out there. See that? Oh, please be full, please be full. Two bullets. You know what? Better than nothing. Hey, pups. Three bullets left. All right, let's mush on. I can't believe the ice can just control a river of this size. How much food is just traveling beneath us? It looks like there's an opening up ahead. There's nothing for us here except for the chance of an icy end. Let's go. You okay, pups? I've pushed you too hard, haven't I? It's okay. We're done. You've done all you can. A nightmare. Okay, well, at least I have an idea of what could happen to me out there. Oh, I didn't think it could be that hard. We have to plan ahead. Are we ready for this? It's okay. They were just nightmares. It's not gonna happen to us.
And that little nightmare reminded me to pack our axe to strip those birch trees. It's a good thing we have an overactive imagination. We know what we're up against. Well, we can imagine what we're up against. Huh, chomps? 